Hi guys, welcome back to part three of Allie's house. We are now gonna walk you through the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom in your house is magical. Well, that was the number one feeling that I wanted to achieve. So I, I really wanted to create this space of peace and calm and just like a sanctuary somewhere we would go after a long day and just be able to relax. I also wanted it to carry through with the theme of the rest of the house, which is this like really cozy kind of coastal cottage. So what I did was I started with the backdrop, the Gordon Batten, which creates that cottage feel, which I love. I, again, the woodwork, I would do it everywhere if I could. I love it, I love every part of it. And then beyond the woodwork, I really wanted it to just be super textural, very cozy and relaxing and inviting. So we started with an upholstered bed because I love just the feeling of softness. Layered in a beautiful jute rug, I can't get enough jute. To me, it's just like the perfect texture, it's the perfect tones. The Lauren rug is my favorite. It's like in this room, it's everything that I and we love. We also played into the textures. So like I carried this whole tonal wood story throughout that bedroom as well, like I did down in the living room. Played with a darker nightstand and a lighter bench at the end of the bed and really just kind of created that depth with those pieces. Yeah, I love the warmth that the different wood tones bring to the space. What I also love, you kind of mentioned, is this combination of old meets new. Mm -hmm. The beautiful upholstered chair in the corner, obviously brand new, but it has this old world feel and look yep. to it that's just perfect. I love a little sense of history, you know, like I love it to feel current and modern, but like with a little bit of a nod to the past. And like to me that that chair, the, the shape and the style of it is that nod to the past. Totally. And you know what I would say is another nod to the past? Those lamps on those nightstands are so good. Those are one of my favorite pieces too. The whole thing is really my favorite, but well, it should be. <laughs> those, isn't that the point? Those also just speak to me. It's like a really pretty dark, almost pottery feeling piece. So it adds a little drama to like the bright white backdrop that it's on. And it's got the perfect mix of feeling old but new, like the lampshade's really tailored and perfect and streamlined and then the base is really like aged and patinaed and old. Okay, so let's move from the bedroom area to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I love the materials that you chose in the bathroom. So tell me a little bit about how you selected those and what they are. Yeah, so again here I pulled in my favorites. We started with a really pretty gray limestone. It's got the most gorgeous texture to it. It's coastal without being obnoxious, which is perfect for me. And then we paired it with a handmade subway tile and just a crisp white wall. The feeling in there is so great. And what I love is how you kind of rounded it all out with this beautiful vintage rug right in the middle. The tones of the rug are gorgeous and it really does bring it all together, gives that warmth to the flooring and just makes it feel so good. And it brings it to life, yeah. right? It's my favorite piece too. It's all my favorite, I keep saying that. <laughs> the other part that I love that like really personalized the whole space for me was the artwork. Every piece kind of tells a different story. The artwork in the bedroom is from one of my favorite artists who I've loved for years, Kara Rosenlund. And I just fell in love with all of her art. I've got it all throughout the house. But the piece above the bed is, it really spoke to me. It's seaweed and ocean, and there's something about it that just evokes a sense of calmness for me. And it really puts like the finishing touch on the room. It is such a serene escape. I mean, you did such an amazing job on it. Thank you. It's been so fun sharing this with you guys. Next up is the last and final part of the tour. It's my kids' bedrooms. We can't wait to share it with you.